Quantum mechanics has effectively killed hard determinism in the sciences. I don't think anybody really holds to it these days. You can still recover determinism depending on how you interpret quantum mechanics. For instance, one interpretation is the many worlds interpretation. And so the idea is that when you have these quantum events, right, they're indeterminate, and there can be more than one outcome. And until you go and look to see what happened, the system acts like it's kind of both outcomes at the same time. So you go measure, one outcome happens. So under the many worlds interpretation, the idea is that both outcomes have actually happened, but we only see one, right? And an entire new universe was spawned that sees the other, right? And you have this branching effect and basically this infinite pathway of universes. And the thought is that, well, there is some quantum equation, a universal wave function we don't know that determines everything that happens. But that doesn't help us here now, because we don't know which trajectory we're going to see. We don't recover an effective determinism, but you sort of recover uh, an almost hollow victory and on a philosophical sense. So there's things like that where you can kind of hold on to that determinism, but quantum mechanics is really problematic for that and other things like realism, right? Things are not really concrete until you, you do a measurement or an observation on them.